Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of The Dead Cells. Also, yeah. Gather four scroll stat- uh, blah, blah, Fragments to unlock one stat point in your choosing. That's what those little fragments do. Probably should have read that last time. I also believe... Yeah, Skeletor's still got some stuff for us. And we unlocked this last time, so let's, uh, let's see. What would we want for a potential build here? Can only choose one. Let's let's go with uh, this. Let's see. We'll take the torch, the greed shield. Or actually, maybe Hakuto's bow might be better. Actually, uh, wave of denial. That's always a useful uh, get. And we've actually got a pretty balanced uh, set of starting skills here, which is not bad. Oop. There we go. All right. Well, that worked out nicely. All right, so a nice brutality build. Anyway, I was also reviewing the footage of our... Uh, oh, God. Uh, oh, right. I hate these. All right. Life moves on, though. Anyway, and there's really two possibilities. Either there was some weird, uh, you know, off-camera glitchiness going on, or, and this is always a possibility, uh, perhaps what happened is, oh, perhaps what happened was that. That would have been good, but I'm not taking it. Uh, what what would have happened? Whoop. What would have happened is perhaps. Um, are you kidding me? Got hit from off camera. Good job, Gaslight. Uh, there might have been. If you use the lightning attack for too long, you end up taking a bit of damage, and that might have been uh, what ended up getting us there. I feel like that shouldn't have been the case because the lightning turns red before you take damage as a warning. And I looked over the footage and it did not turn red before we died, so... I maintain that some bull hockey happened there. But, maybe I'm just salty about, uh, about losing. Which is entirely possible. I can't rule that that out as a uh, as a legitimate possibility that could have happened. Also, I uh, there's supposed to be a secret area here, isn't? It? Nope. Ah, there we go. And a baguette. Nice. All right. So we need. Ooh, hello. I like that, but I think Hakuto's bow is doing better work for us right now, so we're gonna hold on to that. And if there's 17 enemies that we can kill without taking damage, then we... Okay, there's not 17 enemies, so, you know. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the sewers, because I'm pretty sure we can still get to the ramparts, which would let us fight the concierge, which I think is what we want. Also, a comment that's probably worth commenting on, this is greatly disappointing to me, but life goes on, is that, um, let's see. I like this. Let's go with the bleeding. Oh, right, right, right. What The other thing I was interested in mentioning uh, that I was just doing a little bit of reading on today, uh, I'd kind of noticed it when I was uh, playing, or when I first loaded the game up a little while back, but I didn't think too much of it, at least not at the time. But um, Motion Twin has split into two different... Uh, Two different studios, from what I can tell. There is... Oh, God. No, no, no. 
There is uh, now it's it's motion twin as usual, and then there's also evil empire, which is responsible for dead cells. And the difference, which you may be wondering, hey, what's the difference between these two? Oh, oh god, careful. Is I guess what has happened here? I like the spiked boots, but I don't like them right now. Anyway, with um, this whole Evil Empire thing is, I guess, for those of you not aware, um, Motion Twin it has been, uh, I guess, traditionally set up as a cooperative, which basically means it's kind of like a flat, like, anarchist sort of uh, kind of company. And it's cool for small development, or I guess for a small studio, because everyone gets the same pay, everyone's, uh, you know, gets an equal say in how things are done, and all that good stuff, but the issue, of course, is when everyone is perfectly equal and, and has a, a say in what happens within the company and within development and whatnot, uh, it makes it hard to scale due to the fact that, uh, well, uh, yeah, with, with everyone getting an equal say, you end up, uh, the more people, the harder it is to form consensus on things. Oh god. Just missed getting hit, and that was beautiful. I like this as well, because it gives us criticals. But I do kind of want to stick with what we have for now. Anyway, so yeah, so... I guess the idea here is that, um... Evil Empire, which is basically the Dead Cells team, they want to keep working on Dead Cells, and they want to make it... bigger. Really, with like the development studio and all that, so keeping the uh, the traditional style, which has worked for Motion Twin, I think they've been around for like 15 years, something like that, and it's worked well for them thus far. But for I guess some of their ambitions here, uh, keeping the uh, you know the style they've had doesn't really make much sense. So yeah, in any case, that's a I guess to me that's an interesting little tidbit about. The, uh, the people behind the game that I enjoy so much, and what's going on with them, so... Uh, we shall see what happens there. I mean, one way or the other, I wish Motion Twin and Evil Empire the best of luck going forward. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh god! No, no, no! <laughs> Alright, how do I want to handle this? That was probably the... A less ideal. No! Oh, I hate that. I hate those elite moves. I really do. I absolutely hate them. I mean, I've, I've made no secret of this since, uh... No, they were added in. I hate them. Mind, body, and soul, baby. Everything about them. But... That is what it is. And thus, here we are. Oh. Beautiful. Oh boy. I'm gonna ask myself, what the heck is this guy throwing bombs at? But it's the little, little wormy friends that are crawling through here. You know, I'm not entirely sure how many scroll fragments there are per level or even just uh, throughout the, the run of the game here so that will be kind of interesting to see you know what direction we end up going there ah gaslight 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 what are you doing to yourself here you're getting hit you're losing opportunities For doors, and upgrades, and power. That is unacceptable. Ah, but life goes on. What are you gonna do, right? What are you gonna do? Except just kinda keep rolling with those punches and... Why, why am I running the long way when I could save a bit of time and just teleport? Anyway, though, I- but also, I guess, like, reading about this split here, 
it does uh, make me kind of look forward to thinking about the possibilities this might have with uh, the future of Dead Cells. Like, is there at some point going to be a sequel? Maybe a paid expansion? Who is to say? Because, I mean, it's been... Oh, how long? It's been a year? Two years now? Since Dead Cells came out of early access. And it's it's still going. It's still going pretty strong, I'd say. But I do wonder, uh, you know, like how long that can last. Because surely at some point, uh, the developers will want to, you know, do something different. Whether that's a sequel to Dead Cells, a different game entirely. Who's to say? But I do look forward to uh, seeing whatever it ends up being. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of Wave of Denial and replace it with our Telluric Shock because, frankly, it works nicely with our build. We can re-roll it to be more Brutality because we, we probably want more Brutality at this particular stage of the game. Because it's, it's always good to be stronger that was... I don't entirely know what I just did there, but it worked, so... You know, if it works, don't question it. Just... just roll with it. Oh, that's a uh, survival weapon now. Or at least, part survival. I do like the fact that it seems like most items these days are, um... Are, uh, like, dual, uh... Class. As much, uh... Oh, nice. Adrenaline. That sounds like a mutation of some kind to me. We're also up to 46 kills. I don't think... I mean, I like the wolf trap. I really like the wolf trap for locking enemies down. But I do like the idea of throwing big grenades that blow people up, so... I'm gonna take it. Even though it's not necessarily the best idea. Nor is it the worst idea, either. Okay, so that's just a way out. This corner... I don't think there's gonna be enough enemies left. And there is definitely not enough enemies left. Good, good job, Gaslight. Masterfully done. You know what? I didn't need all those bonuses anyway. I mean, I could have used the cells, though. So I'm a little uh, salty about that, but, you know, life uh, life goes on. And we will find a way. Alright, so let's go down here. We're going to take the bonus uh, side level. I'm actually kind of surprised that the side level doesn't seem to have any requirements to get to it. And then again, now that I think about it, there's no real requirements to go to the prison depths either. Oh wait, no, that's not true. There are. There are requirements. You need to have the spider rune. And you need the spider rune to get here. Alright. Okay, so it all makes sense. Alright. Well, that's, uh, real d let's see, what does this do? Your melee attacks give you back a small amount of HP depending on attack damage for three seconds after dodging an attack at the last moment. That sounds useful, actually, so let's, let's take that. And I, I, I assume last moment implies, let's see here. The extra health is useful. That is also useful, mostly for boss fights. Let's go with this. So if we get hit, we then take less damage. Though I think the, the slowing might have been better. The guards were the first to succumb unless no one noticed the difference in the prisoners. That is reasonable to assume. Still like Akuto's bow. I didn't re-roll Telluric Shock, did I? Hmm. I mean, what is what does this do exactly? Makes them take... Oh! Oh, this doesn't work the way I thought it does. They take damage over time. Is that a change? Because I... Or maybe I... 
Oh no, it just means that they, uh, I deal more damage to them. Okay. Because I was, I was reading it as they would just take damage over time, but no, that's not what it was actually saying. Also, yeah, remember Gaslight, you don't want to get hit because, you know. There we go. How did that not hit me? Don't question it. I mean, last time we died due to, uh, apparent, uh, yeah, apparent, uh, BS, as far as I'm concerned. Though, I mean, it, it like I believe I, I've already said, it might have, it might have been that, uh, we had just been using the attack too long, and then we got hit with, like, the recoil, or whatever you'd want to call it, of the, the lightning bolt. But also, as I've said before, it normally turns... You know, I'm pretty sure I... I should not be getting hit. Is what I was going to say. Whoop. Oh, yeah, that worked out nicely. Hello, friend. Roll up. Did I mention I hate that particular move right there? Like, really hate it. With the burning passion of a thousand suns. Beautiful. But, alas, life has... Don't do it, Gaslight. Don't do it. We're not strong enough. Actually, I don't even think... There's not even a... Yeah, there's not even a... Uh... Oh, God! It's you, Big Bird. Okay, so he does his attack at least three times before you're safe from him. All right. No, Gaslight, you idiot! Again! Why? Could have ground pounded him, but you didn't. You fool. But yeah, I don't think there's a kill door at the end of this level. Anyway, so I don't think we're missing anything by not getting our 60 kills. Though we should try for it anyway, because it's just good practice. That was, um, little ex little bit of overkill there. But who doesn't love a little bit of overkill? Alright, and look at that, we're already pretty much back to full health. Which is good. Listen, Mike. Out of my face. There you go. You know what? They're on fire. That's good enough. Booyah. Beautifully done, yet again. Alright. Oh, I do love this game. It is tough, but fair. Tough, but fair. No, I got hit again. Man, I love the range on that Telluric Shock. What I love less is that I keep taking damage when I really, really shouldn't be. Oh, wait. No, this is my, this is my way out if we want to fight, uh... If we want to fight the Concierge. And we haven't gone the ramparts in a while, so I think that's where we want to go. And that's pretty valuable right there, so we'll go ahead and take it. And life, uh, yeah, just kind of continues to go well for us. All, all things considered. So for that, I am glad. Though we could be doing better. I've uh, loved a number of doors at this point, so we've got, uh, oh, you know what else? I do want to reforge this. There we go. Alright, so let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. I would like this. But we don't really have anything that does a critical hit. So I'm gonna go ahead with disengagement. That's always my 
My go-to for boss fights, just because it does, uh, save us just a little bit. Gives us time to heal, basically. And that is always a good thing. Especially on boss fights, because bosses can be quite quick. It also occurs to me, I should not... What the heck is that? What the heck was that? Oh god. Come on, Ravager. Bam! Beautiful stuff. Alright. Now... Okay, cool. I mean, he did it, not me. Though it does occur to me, I should probably be leaving at least a couple of enemies, at least ten enemies behind for any possible cursed chests we may run into. Whoop. Alright, that ended up being a little, uh, a little like, strenuous there. That hit me. He said, mildly bemused, but also realizing that was totally fair. Despite being mad about getting hit. Tough, tough, but fair. That's what Dead Cells is. Tough, but fair. And if you got a problem, it's probably something to do with yourself. Probably. Like, 99 out of 100 times, it's your own fault. Okay, that's legendary. I am left wondering, if I re-rolled this, would it give me just straight... Hmm. I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, Gaslight, why? Why would you give up your perfectly good smashy stick for... A also good, but not quite the same, uh, Bernie Pokey stick, or Bernie Pokey, uh, thing. With less range, or actually, well, I guess it has more range, because we can't attack from a distance now. Hello. Wonderful. Oh, this is just wonderful. Oh, every s- oh god. Oh. I hate- just, just burn, please. That was... Not my proudest moment, I'll admit. Oh god. Could you stop doing that? Like, do you have any other attacks? Gotta be honest, that guy... That guy's more annoying than the concierge himself. Which is, to me, kind of funny. But I am now also... Not sure I want to be in this level anymore. Not, not, not entirely sure. The kicky boots are also not bad. But again, they're not quite what I want. Okay. So, I am thinking to myself at this point I should probably, uh... Reconcile myself with the fact that we are probably... Probably gonna end up missing out on uh, the kill door for this level, and most likely the time door as well. Though I want to believe. I want to believe it's possible. I mean, we just need to get there in under 20 minutes, is it? Oh god. Why'd you do that, Gaslight? Ooh boy. He does die quickly, though. Nope. Why am I even playing it that way? Ooh, nice. What's this? Scheme. Interesting. I do like scheming. Scheming is pretty cool. We're gonna end up in exactly the same situation as... Yoink. As last time, where I'm gonna end up getting cursed. That bomb is really powerful, isn't it? But we're totally gonna end up getting cursed, and it's gonna be less 
less ideal, isn't it? Whoop. But you know, these guys aren't so bad. I mean, in general, not, nothing in Dead Cells is terribly, terribly difficult once, uh, once you get the hang of it. God, I love that move. Finally, the power of the hand of the king in the palm of my hand. Oh god, it's him again. That's a lot of enemies. No, 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 no. I wasted a perfectly good Teleric shock in that, in that confined space. Which would have allowed me to kill many enemies all at once. I wasted my potential. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. No, no, no. Oh, Gaslight, why? Why'd you have to do yourself like that? Okay, this is again another legendary weapon. I mean... The Sinew Slicer is really fast, and it gives us... It gives us range, which might be uh, worthwhile. Also, we have now very definitely missed the, the kill door. Oh, that was close. But, you know, that's, I guess, it's it's in my nature to flub a, a perfectly easy run. Now, the, uh, it's all there. Now, I know there is there is a free croissant lying around somewhere, but we're rolling in money. It's like the worst excuse for anything of all time. But it works for me, and thus, I'm gonna go with it. <sighs> nope. No, 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 no. Please burn. Beautiful. A door went to nowhere! It was a door. Worth nothing. Absolutely nothing. I am also holding out a bit of fool's hope here. You know, I bet if I had held on to that, I would have just straight killed him. No, don't do that. You know, should have timed that a little better. And I think... Honestly, the only thing we might want to swap out is uh, for an oil grenade, if we can, at some future point in time. Because that would be good. Also, if there is a cursed uh, chest in here somewhere, I would really like it if it would just show up now. Make my life a little bit easier. My goodness, but there is a lot of enemies here. Oh, sweet baby Jeebus. Okay, make sure you kill everything before you go down there and fight Skeletor. Alright, here's how we do this. Okay, that, that actually worked. And that actually killed him. I am pleasantly surprised. Would have laughed if this was a cursed chest, but no, not, uh, not today. Oh yeah, we've also missed the time door, so. Yeah. You know, I feel like I have missed every opportunity for every possible door in this run so far. And that kind of disappoints me a little. But at the same time, you know, it's, it's, it's not the end of the world. If... If I really need it... Well, what is the point of this? There's no enemies. Nothing for me to kill. Hugely disappointed. Zero out of ten. Almost rolled right into those spikes for no reason. I'm not missing anything, am I? Huh. Well, I guess that's life. Anyway. Yeah, alright. Definitely gonna beat the big bad boss man this time. And... So disappointing. And we are totally... What does this do? 
It's a tactics mutation. Your next melee skill after using, or melee attack after using a skill inflicts extra damage. All right. Not bad. Not, uh, not strictly good for this run. But, you know, it's definitely something to consider in the future. All right, let's try our best to ace this uh, boss fight. I mean, that's what we do every time, but still. Also to my great disappointment. Oh yeah, get, get into the corner, dog. You want to keep him on one side until he starts using... So close, and yet so far. Though it does occur to me, you know what, that, uh... Here, you want... Allow me to try. You know what, that actually is... It seems smaller than I remember it being. Also, I have, despite my best efforts, we have taken damage multiple times. And he is dead. Though I have, I'm also noticing that you seem to get, like, a frame or two. Flint. Interesting. A flame or two of, uh, or a flame or two. A minute, a second or two. I mean, I'd be losing one stat point. But I like the idea of the boots instead. Possibly. But then again, fire has historically been very good for us also. Yoink. Extra skill scroll. Yeah. I think if I'd had a, some kind of slowdown thing, we would have done a little- Oh, it's 15 minutes. I thought it was 20. It must be for the Watcher. And there is, of course, nothing there because we've already maxed everything out. And Flint. A melee weapon, brutality, survival. Hold the attack to inflict a critical hit and create a flaming trail, dealing 570 damage. The concierge was always ready to give an extra hand. Alright. We should be able to unlock that possibly by the end of this level. Now let's see here. This is the Slumbering Sanctuary. You know what, we haven't, well actually we haven't gone here either, I was going to say, we haven't been to the Stilt Village in a while. But I, I generally like the Slumbering Sanctuary better than the Stilt Village. Formerly, uh, what, what was it formerly called? I Stilt Village was originally called Fog Fjord, that's what it used to be called. Yes. And... That's just a Ravager, right? Yeah, that's totally just a Ravager. I don't know, there's just something about it that for a second there made me think, Hey, is that actually, like, somebody else? And the answer is no, that's not somebody new or anything. That's cool. It also occurs to me, next level, we should end up... That's actually pretty cool as well. And that's an elite enemy, so we definitely want to fight you. Oh dear. Oh god. Okay. No, no, no. Well, that worked out. Little twitchy and not as good as it could have been, but it was not bad. Gonna lose a bit of strength in order to get the extra 5% damage reduction. Because that's always... A useful get. Beautiful. I love that. And there is nowhere for you to escape, my good sir. Again, nicely played. And again, played to perfection. Which is exactly what we want out of life, isn't it? Okay. 
This is where that cursed chest is, isn't it? Nope, it's not a cursed chest. It is, however, an assassin's dagger. And that is rather tempting. Hmm. But you know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with our current build. Because I'm stubborn that way. Once I've Oh yeah, I should try re-rolling that fireball so that it gives us more. Oops. <laughs> that could have been dangerous. That was dangerous. And for nothing, because this goes nowhere. Well played. And you also possibly damaged your chances of getting the kill door at the end of this. So, well played. Well played. Also well played. But for real that time. Yeah, I feel given, uh, I mean, the Assassin's Dagger might have actually been better. Uh, simply because it does more raw damage. And that might actually be kind of important for where we're at at this particular moment in our life. Well played. He said sarcastically. Okay. Oh, it's a Ravager! Alright. But life is it's still in our control. We're we're still we're still in this. So you know. Don't give up on on life yet. Oh god, he's he's coming for me, isn't he? Well he wasn't. But it never hurts to be paranoid. Though it does sometimes hurt to be paranoid, so don't be too paranoid. Just paranoid enough. And it doesn't look like there's any loot here, so we'll just kind of keep moving on. Wait for it. Okay, that was, that was almost bad, but then it actually ended up being okay. Well played. We're dying. So, you know, should probably heal up a little. Just a bit. I am also really thinking I need to... Need to change my loadout a little here. Floric Shock remains an amazing uh, piece of equipment for us. Nicely played yet again. Okay, you know what? Oh, I, why do you keep getting that move? I hate it. Ever since they gave elites, uh, you know, these extra moves, I've hated them. But, uh, you know, that's, that's life. I'm gonna go with that, mostly because it gives us some brutality back. And I am again reminded that it would be a really, really good idea to switch to a different weapon that has a bit more immediate punch to it, you know? Ooh, what's down here? Secrets. And there's death at the bottom of this. Oh, come on, I... Oh, yeah, because there's wall jumping, so of course I wouldn't get an extra jump. Oh, I can actually go to the cavern from here. I don't know why that surprises me, because I feel like that's something I knew in the past. But then again, there's a lot of things I knew in the past that evidently I have decided to, uh, you know, not really... Nope. Well, that works. But another classic example of, uh, you know, panicking when I should have just gone hard for the attack. I'm not a warrior, I have to say. Don't have the heart of a warrior. Or the stomach or the kidneys of a warrior, for that matter. 
or any other warrior related organs which you know kind of doesn't help with any uh fighting we may find ourselves involved in but then again life is not always about fighting so i guess yeah at least in this day and age which is pretty good don't have to worry about random fights most of the time no no, no don't oh thank god i didn't screw myself there completely only mostly and by mostly, I mean I didn't really screw myself at all, and we're actually perfectly fine. Alright. Whoa! That's got some range on it. Not bad. But not great either. Alright. Burn them all. Which... You know, it's, 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 honestly, just burning stuff has worked out both in Dead Cells and in real life for me. If you don't like something, burn it. Not that I've burned many things in real life. But, you know, from time to time, things have been burned in a totally responsible manner. Totally responsible. And not at all suspicious. Because we're not that sort of person. Bam! Oh boy! Scared myself a little bit there, as I often do. Alright, we are three quarters of the way to another free skill point. I gotta say, I like those, uh... I like that whole idea of collecting, uh, scroll fragments. It is fun and cool, and this would also be useful. I think. Have we even used the giant's whistle yet? I think I think the answer is no. Which is actually kind of sad now that I think on it. Okay, I was gonna say, oh watch, here comes the cursed chest. But yeah, I think we're gonna go to the sepulcher. Just because that's uh, you know, probably probably the smart play. But, uh, yeah. Don't think there's going to be enough enemies left. Definitely don't want to go to the clock tower in our current situation. Although, that wouldn't necessarily be bad either. Though I'm also thinking to myself, you know what? Skeletors seem to be rarer than I remember them being. But maybe that's just me. Oh yeah, there is that chest up there. I guess, I guess we can detour to that. So that, that's not bad. That's pretty good in fact, I would say. I mean, life is actually going really well for us. We've only burned one Healy Juicy potion so far. Ooh, what's this? The Sonic Crossbow, that's right. That is something we've had for a while, but I haven't made use of. I don't even think when we unlocked it. I may have used it once. And where did we unlock that? I think it might have been... Where's the Sonic Crossbow come from? I think it comes from... The, uh, super secret final Alchemist Lair level. Which, I guess, is not so super secret anymore since I've named it. Well... That's life. All right, maybe we'll replace one of our weapons with uh, flint. Let's have a look here. 7,000 damage versus, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is better for us in general on the whole. Uh, more damage on poisoned enemies. I don't think we poison anything. Cannot be interrupted by an enemy's attack. Victims burn. Victims slow down all nearby enemies when they die. Uh, the flaming trail is also pretty good. Let's uh, let's reroll this, see if we can get double uh, one more time. Okay. Not gonna keep re-rolling that. And... yeah. I, I think that's... that's okay. Alright. Yes. Who are you anyway, uh, skeleton spider or spider lady? Now that I think about it, I don't think who sh she is is ever ever adequately, at least to my satisfaction, explained. 
Oh god. Yeah, it's a slower weapon. Okay, get get to the light, get to the light, get to the light. Now, that was a good way to die. Nope, no, no, no. Scary weapon, scary weapon, scary weapon. Okay. I like this weapon. It scares the heck out of me. But I like it. I just want to make that clear. Alright. Okay, now that that's been made clear, let's go do this challenge area here. And, you know, promptly flub it, as we probably will do. Well, flub it is kind of, uh... Okay. That's the coolness right there. Whoa, boy. Yeah, do a little roll at the end there, just for safety. Okay, how do I want to do this? I feel safer here. Whoop. Okay, don't, uh... Okay, so far no damage has been taken. Oh boy. I really thought I was gonna screw that up. But you know what? I didn't. Look at that. Look at Gaslight now, being a big shot. You see, that's, that's just cool. Though also keep in mind, Gaslight, there is usually... Usually, a cursed chest in this particular part of the world. So, uh, be careful. Oh, and you rolled into it! <laughs> oh, almost rolled into that too. That, that would have really been bad. Damn, I love that. Okay. You know, I should have left that. That was a good side area for uh, coming back later if we had to get a couple of kills. It also occurs to me we still have Hakuto's bow that I'm, like, grossly underusing. Alright, that's tasty. Okay, and... Oh, I see you, secret area. And you've got an upgraded version of Telluric Shock. Which does more damage. And emits a toxic cloud which synergizes with stuff we've already got. Because this does more damage on it. No, it doesn't. That was the original incarnation that we had. God, that's good. I mean, it does decent damage on its own, but when you can charge it up, it becomes an amazing force of nature. Which is... Got me all a tingle. With excitement. Don't really know why I felt the need to specify excitement when it was probably pretty obvious, but, you know. It's always good to be explicit in things. Just in case. Alright. Alright, alright. Let's see here. I wonder what the Timekeeper slash Assassin's fancy special ability is that we shall unlock at some future point in time. Who's to say? I mean, my guess would be, if we didn't already have it, my guess would be it would be the Assassin's Dagger. But, uh... Gosh, that is... No, I love that Telluric Shock gives you a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of invulnerability there. Alright. I'm gonna leave some of these enemies off to the side. Because, again... No, Gaslight, it... Because of that, exact... I'm gonna die here. Survey says you're gonna die here, Gaslight. You did not die. Against all odds, you are somehow still alive. Okay, and... Curse avoided! 
Really gotta make better use of Kakudo's bow there. That extra damage is really quite handy. Also, wait, hang on a second. Is this doing extra damage? No. Thought for a second I saw... Or maybe it is. I thought I saw an extra damage bonus. Oh. Beautiful. Yet again. Oh, that was perfection right there. Absolute perfection! Oh, and we've done it! And then we got hit. Okay, let's, uh... Yeah, get to the light. Now, just to be safe. So we did end up taking a little bit of damage there, but... It was for a good cause, and there's nothing else there to, uh... To kill. Haven't found any keys yet. Might as well go on down here. Some ominous giant bones. And we have a punchy stick. Or a punchy fist. A fist, not a stick. Get it right. Now. We are also left with the always important decision of do... Oh, excuse me, sir. Of, um, do we... Oh dear, it's getting dark, it's getting dark, it's getting scary, it's getting dark. There is a delicious tasty croissant in it for us. Did I leave anyone back here? I suppose I should still be leaving some enemies just in case there's a second cursed chest. But with all this talk that there's like less uh, cursed chests, I don't know why I always think that if I'm doing a ground attack I'm somehow getting in vulnerability frames. So I'm pretty sure that has never, ever, ever been the case, and yet for some reason I keep thinking that's how it should be. But remember, Gaslight, just because you think something should be a certain way doesn't mean it will ever be that way. Oh dear. Hello, friend. Oh god. Really, uh... What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Gaslight? Get out of there. Get out of there. Heal up. He's got the badness. He's got the badness. He's almost dead, though. And now he is dead. That could have been much better. I have now wasted two... Two of my precious Healy fluids. I'm confused by what I just saw there. Okay, I know there's a light back here. All right. Okay, things are holding in there. Just rightly. And I guess we just kind of keep going this way. Okay. And we have definitely left enough food, or enough, not food, enough money, rather. You again? Well, that was fast. Okay, it's the giant's whistle, which is... Okay, now here's a thought here. Because this slows enemies down, which is useful. That would be useful if we, um, you know... Well, we're, if we were in a situation for it to be useful, which alas, we are not. That was a spooky place to be in. Okay. Poison Cloud. I'll take that. Which also would have probably been nice, but meh. I like the build we have. It feels... It feels pretty solid. Okay, and this is just the way out. Good to know. Good to know. And you know, all, all told, I am having a good time with this run. Oop. That was a bit needlessly risky. There's light back up here, isn't there? There is. Good. 
There was also a light down there and even right there as well. So <laughs> there was never really any danger of, uh, yeah, being stuck in the dark, which is good. And it, in all honesty, there are few occasions where I have ever felt that, um, you know, we'd actually be in danger of the dark. Though it can happen, and one should, of course, at all times be prepared for the unexpected. Uh, what would I most likely want? Let's go with miscellaneous. Okay, vampirism is good. And if I wasn't, I mean, to be honest, I should actually consider it because that would let us heal. But I'm, I'm going to pass it up for now, just because I can. Okay, this is actually a weaker version of what we've already got, so we don't want it. Good item, not what we want right now. Alright. Hopefully I don't screw this up. I should totally, totally be able to beat the assassin, though. Timekeeper, whatever she's called now. Alright. Masterful little juggling on the platforms there. As one would expect, of course, from the world's greatest Dead Cells player. Alright, let's, uh... Bazam! Bazam! Wait for it, and... You know, you're kind of stealing my thunder, blood turret. Ooh, what's this? This is new. What are you? The Explorer's Rune. And... If my quick speed reading of that is correct... Uh, it now just, if we've, ex if we've already explored most of the map, then it just reveals the map to us. So that's, that's not a bad thing to have. You know, if you've already explored most of the map, then you get like a... It, it um, yeah, just kind of uncovers the rest of it for you so that uh, you're not left in the dark. Which is always spooky. And what, pray tell, is hiding up here? Never cursed chest? Oh, a uh, way to the fight the giant. All right, that's pretty cool. I actually wondered to myself, is there a way to skip straight to, um, uh, straight to the hand of the king after fighting the assassin? I mean, I don't know why there would be, well, I don't really know why there's a way to skip straight to the, uh, to the final boss after fighting, um, Giant, to be honest with you. Yeah, it does less damage than what we've already got, so I think we're good. And we have not unlocked anything new. Unfortunately, there were no Skeletors to unlock stuff for us. But yeah, I, I think I'll, I will probably skip str- well, then again, now nah, I mean, is there actually going to be a food shop? Probably not. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's make this happen, shall we? We'll just uh, skip past the cutscene. I cannot skip past the cutscene. Whoop. Okay, that hurt. That also hurt. Can't believe I let myself get hit by that. Okay. Whoop. Oh dear. Masterfully done. I'm gonna die, aren't I? <laughs> you died first. Though I did take damage and that was less good. Very much less good. Alright. Light speed. An exciting new blueprint. Broadsword, an exciting old weapon, an old friend, if you will. Knife Dance is also very good. Alright, so we, we have to go straight to High Peak Castle. Ooh. Alright. Someday, Gaslight. Someday. 
And what does this do? Dash forward and inflicts 2963 damage to the enemies on the way. Activate again to dash back. Okay, that's pretty cool. Also, you know what just occurred to me? This whole run, I've had my mouse on screen. Feel kind of dumb for that. Alright, hopefully we can find a baguette or something to heal up along the way. But you know, I'm actually, I'm actually, uh, pretty content with how we've been doing so far. You know, we're, uh, we're trying some- oh god. Not you. Nope, no, no, no. Oh, that worked out. Nope. Don't do it. I do wonder if this build is good for, uh, uh excuse me, my good sir. It's, uh, not what I wanted to do. If you'd kindly, I would like the amethyst instead. And I guess, yeah, we'll just kind of mosey on down this way. Because why not? All right, as always though, the key is to take our time, not go too fast, not too slow, just enough time. I do really like our, our build though, it's quite fun. Quite fun indeed. And you know, I'm here I am, I'm using somewhat different, uh, have different items than usual and try and out well mostly the same combination of mutations but you know uh, one step at a time here that's good we're changing things up a bit bit by bit and that is always good hmm I think how do I want to do this I like Tilleric Shock so Let's look around. Oh. Come on, friendo. Wait, did that just heal me straight up? No, no, not that move again. Nope. Got hit. But you know, at the end of the day, that actually was pretty good. Though I, I don't feel like I actually ended up healing all that much. So I don't know if that was actually all that useful. Hello, friend. I know you can see me. Don't pretend you can't. All right, this is, uh, this is a cool room because we can, uh, well, if I can. There are secrets up here, or there are secrets up here. There we go. And we just uh, loop our head in here. Recycle the javelin. Loop our head in here. Uh, excuse me, sir. I said bloop our head in here. And there we go. Though I am tempted to uh, swap out to the gauntlets, but I think... I think we'll stay with what we have. Because it's a, you know, it's a trusted friend at this point. Very trusted friend. Okay, that also does a critical hit when we're at uh, full power. I mean, I suppose I should have seen that coming. But uh, for whatever reason, I, I kind of overlooked that. God, that's powerful. Hey, friends! Whoop. Come on over. Oh, wait, I am getting damage just from being near this. I let myself get hit because I thought I was out of the way. Good job. Also, good job. Masterfully done. All right, how do I do this? We go in here, we do that. Squish his head. I am a little confused by this, because, like, looking at it, you'd figure that we were intended. 
Oh dear. That was, uh, you know, kind of silly. Beautiful, as always. Okay, wait for uh, this guy to come back and then... Nicely done. Oh, ho, ho, friendo. Wasn't quite in range, unfortunately. But it all worked out. And that's the important thing. I'm also mildly surprised this is the first time we're reaching a door. Nice. Yeah, you, you guys, uh, come on over. Come on over. Follow me. If you dare. I don't really know what I was expecting there. Alright. Don't do any, uh, focus on me. Nicely done. Also nicely done. Okay. I feel that was probably a bit riskier than it needed to be, but uh, I liked it, so I don't regret it. Uh, missing the knife chucker, however, that that I almost regret it. Fortunately, Teleric Shock has a really good range. Oh. Uh, excuse me. He's a Apparently immune to the shockwave portion of my attack, which is less good. Come on over, come on. No, sir. Nope. Nope. All right. That went exactly according to plan, so I totally planned it that way. Very definitely planned it that way. Good times. Good times all around. Nothing to see here. No reason to panic. Okay, I, I see all you guys. God, that's an amazing move. Nope. Not today, sir. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Yeah, come on. Come on. You clever little sneak. But not sneaky enough. Not for this gaslight. Not today. All right. Big brain move. Just like that. Thank you, delicious croissant. For saving me at just the right time. Would have liked to have a uh, tasty baguette, though. But you know what? Maybe that'll come in later. i be honest, this has been like the best, the best run we've had in a while, I would say. Oh god, he's doing the smart maneuvers of... You ruined me! You ruined me, you horrible, horrible cretin. I thought you were gonna go after the turret, which is what I would have done, if I were you. Oh dear. Okay, he's dead. Aha, sucker! Whoop. <laughs> okay, you are still a sucker, but doesn't mean I should... You know, there's a part of me that thinks I shouldn't have got away with that. But I did. Whoa. <laughs> got away with that, too. I'm also forgetting that I do have a perfectly functional Hakuto's bow to get in sweet extra damage. So, you know, there is that. Nope. Beautiful. All right, and unfortunately, Elite Skeletor did not drop anything cool for me. Maybe not the best use of uh, that Telluric Shock. Okay. Come on! Okay. I dropped a second earlier than I should have there. But, you know, we're still alive. So, you know, that's that's the good news. The exceptionally good news. 
is that he is now also dead. Oh god, he's coming for me. Might have, uh... No, 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 no. Okay. Oh my goodness, that is... Almost too good. Oh, dang it, the Ravager again. Wasn't really expecting him to show up there when he did, but, uh, you know, life goes on. Okay. Yeah. Now, I am left wondering to myself what the optimal way to do this would be. I hope there's a food store that we can buy our way to mostly full health without having to use any delicious, delicious, um... Healy juices. But we might need some delicious, delicious Healy juices. Okay, we're looking for the red room now. Which should be somewhere. Okay, and we have now triggered Explorer's Instinct. So, a whole bunch of enemies, a skill scroll, never skill scroll. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's no way we're getting the, uh, the kill door. Nicely done. Come on. Come on. Whoa, boy. Always throwing off my groove. Okay. Oh, there is a store up there that we haven't been to yet. So that is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Whoa, boy. Okay, how do I want to play this? Like that, apparently. Oh god, it's you! Shouldn't have run. Oh lord. You know what? Let, let's go to that food shop. Or, it's a shop. We don't know whether it's a food shop. I'm assuming it's a food shop, but it might not be a food shop. I'm hoping it's a food shop, though. It is not a food shop. We could take a Cursed Sword, which gives us 78,000 damage. Which is good. Don't get me wrong. Oh, that worked out nicely. That was... Oh, got it. It's this guy. Who, funnily enough, I don't remember seeing in this level. He has been suspiciously absent. Which, you know, kind of works out for us. We're going to die, I think. There is a... There's a greater than zero chance of death at this point. And while I am relatively certain of our ability to survive... Oh, thank Jeebus. A tasty croissant. Every single time, baby. Ah, oh, that is so nice. Somehow missed magic might. Disappointing. Disappointing to be sure, but, you know, life goes on. That worked out very well. I wouldn't mind getting a bigger hammer. Whoop. Come on, good sir. Well, he's gone. Now there are a few enemies back there we could fight, but I, I think I think at this point, let's uh let's not push our luck. I mean Yeah. 
Yeah, this is. Okay. He apparently was tired of living. You know what? Let, let's just go to the end, shall we? It doesn't look like there is... There's no other shops. There's definitely no food shops. Actually, hang on a second. We haven't been over to... This is slightly faded, meaning we haven't been to this store yet. Wait. No, we have been to this store. Never mind. Though, you know what we could do? We could try to roll a uh, Healy Juicy Potion. Which is a totally scientific name. Uh, yeah. That's pretty good. And, yeah, there's really... Really nothing else for us, so let's let's just go to the end. And this 120 minute episode is close to its end at long last. Which is always good, I guess, possibly. All right. You're kidding me. You're giving me a better weapon. Let's see. This has an extra 20% damage on top of it. That's beautiful. I'm not even going to try re-rolling that, because that's just so good. Okay. Am I feeling confident enough to not even need to re-roll our... our, uh, mutations or anything? I think the answer to that question is yes. We are very definitely confident enough. I'm kind of tempted to take light speed, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, 15,000 damage. Replace Telluric Shock. Ah, yeah, but Telluric Shock is better. Possibly. Alright. Yeah, I don't really- oh yeah, I guess- Okay, that doesn't actually- It's always one of each, okay. So our mutations are open wounds, so we cause bleeding just by hitting enemies. Um, I mean, Tainted, tainted Flask might be better. Hmm. Yeah, because we could pull that... No, you know what, let's, let's stick with what we've got. It wouldn't be a bad idea to change, but I think it's also not necessary. Probably. Maybe. We shall see. All right, the hand of the king. My hated rival. Haha. Whoop. Oh wait. Oh, oh, heal up. Heal up. Also, I feel like I'm not winning this. Nope. Y you should have jumped on that one, Gaslight. Probably should have jumped on that one, too. Why did you do that? Yeah, I'm gonna die. Somehow did not die there. Oh, that hit me? Come on. Yeah, I'm pretty confident I'm not gonna win this fight. What, what are you doing? I did the Telluric Shock into the pit. Ah, oh, that is disappointing. I wonder if the, if the Alchemist has a special boss weapon. Anyway, that's good for this episode, so until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.